Hello to all the viewers of TV5 and Mama TV. We are live here from Houston, Texas in USA at an indoor facility called CrickBase USA. With us, we've got Mr. Sushil Natkarni, who's the chair of the committee for USA Cricket. He is a celebrated former USA Cricket player, and he has also played his initial cricket in India. Sushil, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having me. Um, we are catching up with you because we've got some very interesting updates about uh, where USA Cricket is headed. The biggest news is that Kolkata Knight Riders have come in and they want to be part of the Major League Cricket as a franchise. And we've got some other pretty big groups coming into Major League. What updates can you share with our viewers? Yeah, that's that's certainly big news uh, with USA Cricket. Um, as you know, the Major League uh, is uh, scheduled to be set up in USA in 2022-23. And... Uh, uh, and we were at the board level we were extremely uh, pleased uh, to hear that uh, uh, kolkata night riders have uh, opted to um, uh, to take up a team and and invest uh, this just means uh, that you know uh, it is another endorsement of uh, of the big uh, usa market where uh, we are uh, we are actively trying to uh, prepare our version of the IPL and uh, just to see a big franchise like that uh, jumping in that just uh, it just sets the trend for the future I feel where more and more entities are now going to pay attention to it and, and I'm sure they're already uh, trying to uh, to get in on, on, on the league. And uh, that indeed is a very exciting news for all the viewers and the people who have been part of USA Cricket. Now, uh, just taking a step back, uh, with all the developments that have been going on, we had the minor league uh, exhibition games. So for our viewers who are not aware of the USA Cricket ecosystem, do you want to explain to all of them where we are had headed with regional uh, committees and the minor league and then the major league? Yeah, sh definitely. Um you know, it's it's uh, given that USA Cricket is uh, heading um, very quickly in uh, in a direction which is going to have a lot of exciting opportunities for all all cricketers globally. Actually, um, not not only the national cricketers here or the local cricketers, but uh, even uh, international cricketers that want to uh, come and play in the US in the future. So, uh, as we all know. Uh, uh, the minor league uh, games happened uh, earlier this year um, and that that turned out to be exhibition games because of uh, covid and uh, uh, you know the challenges with teams traveling but uh, uh, the fact that we were able to get that done uh, that just sets up next year's uh, minor league championship which uh, in in uh, all probability is going to be a full blown championship um, so we uh, we saw that there was uh, telecasting of some of the games and for the first time US audiences and even uh, audiences globally were able to see some active cricket being played in the US. Um, you know, there were some big names that played um, as well as um, uh, youth that got an opportunity to play in some teams. And uh, an interesting data coming out from, from the minor leagues was that uh, the youth, the teams that had the youth playing in them they actually did very well in the in the exhibition games so that itself is telling us that uh, you know the youth programs in this country uh, and uh, people joining those programs are are getting better and better uh, so that's one aspect of it the other aspect is uh, USA cricket also making very good advances on national championships and uh, those are about to get set up next year too. So there's plenty of opportunity for uh, youngsters as well as uh, professionals uh, to to play very competitive cricket here in the US. Thank you for the great info. And um, also, Sushil, uh, you touched the topic of youth. So you, as a player, you played all your career. You were the most celebrated batsman, the most recognized name. But post-retirement, you've started contributing big time with development of youth. And I think that's the biggest difference we are seeing because USA cricket off late uh, in the yesteryears was mostly driven by the expat community. Now, for the first time, we are seeing influx of USA-born uh, players from the South Asian community making it to these kind of levels. So what do you think currently the landscape for youth cricket is and where it's headed? Uh, to be honest with you, 
sky is the limit in terms of uh, where youth cricket uh, is headed in the US um there are several different entities across the US that are doing fantastic work right now in uh, in promoting youth cricket and um, uh, even at the grassroots level without having a proper framework uh, there are a lot of entities that are doing fantastic work to actually attract kids to uh, to play the game and uh, fall in love with the game so all this is only headed in one direction where in the future let's say 3 to 5 years from now we'll have uh, an influx of um, our own um, own cricketers uh, into the national teams and minor league teams uh, you know and uh, and that 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 is exactly where we need to be um, and usa cricket now uh, moving forward will have uh na- zonal tournaments as well as uh, national tournaments so this will provide you know another avenue for these kids to uh, to showcase their talent and uh, and become a part of the pathway towards the us teams so then they can go on to play international cricket as well a uh, great info about where our youth cricket stands now also sushil you as a player from back in the days obviously there wasn't a lot of infrastructure when you started playing most of the leagues play with concrete or astro turf wickets and then when you're traveling internationally you're exposed to turf wickets so now is there a major difference in the kind of infrastructure we are currently providing to the youngsters with additional turf wickets and all the new facilities which are being built across the US i think so um and and there's a great uh, great uh, advancement happening in that area um i think before i i go there it's also worth mentioning that uh, this coming year in 2021 we are going to have a major emphasis on our under 19 team uh, not only the formation of the under 19 team but uh, you know putting uh, putting everything behind them and helping them with all the opportunities possible so they can go to the under 19 world cup in uh, early 2022 um so that's that's another exciting aspect of uh, us cricket coming up in 2021 and it is kind of related to the question you asked because um uh the the kind of infrastructure and the kind of surfaces that we want these uh these uh, kids to play on is by by no doubt uh, turf wickets and while if you go to a country like india or pakistan or uh, australia you know a kid going growing up there it's very uh, common for them to just grow up on turf wickets uh so right now where we stand in the us um, for a kid to play on turf wickets and we have about i think uh, roughly about 12 to 15 turf wickets in the existing in the country right now uh if if we um, uh for a kid growing up uh, it's it's a great experience or a novelty to play on turf and that's about to change in the next year or two because right now there is uh, uh there is a lot of infrastructure development and uh, uh the commercial partner of US cricket ace is also doing a lot of work uh, to invest heavily into building um turf grounds uh, across the country so i think we are we are on the verge of all of this landscape changing where moving forward all across the country maybe in a year's time we can expect to see turf wickets uh, for for all age groups as well as uh, senior players so that itself will then result in the quality of cricket being played uh, increasing drastically uh, thanks sushil for all the great inputs now uh, you spoke about the youth in the country uh where do you see we are headed as a youth organization and all the youngsters who are coming in what's the road map and the pathways for them going forward from a youth perspective we've made some really good progress um one of the reasons that i opted to you know come back and and uh, be connected with uh, with the game was for the youth after i retired from the us team and uh, i'm very pleased with the direction we are going because uh, like i said uh, for next year uh, hopefully we will have national tournaments and zonal uh, tournaments uh, that get uh, placed uh, all across the us uh, this provides the youth in the country uh, immense opportunities 
to showcase their talent and uh, start uh, looking at their age group um, you know for uh, uh, us uh, team representation so currently we have usa under 19 teams that are official uh, and play in icc tournaments and uh, next year there is um, there is talk of uh, having a u15 or u16 team uh, to represent usa as well uh, so this team could potentially tour uh, or, uh, or play with west indies or canada so these kind of things are uh, are really good uh, because um, previously we used to have um, an issue of uh, college bound kids mm-hmm. kind of just uh, you know uh, losing interest or or uh, just uh, getting away from the game because they didn't see that next level uh, the same applied for under 19s uh, where once you finished your under 19s there there is a huge jump to get into the senior levels mm-hmm. the men's levels so um, for that um, what we are trying to do now is uh, actually have uh, the minor leagues provide an option for the under 19s to uh, continue playing competitive cricket right. and and there is also a future talk of having some sort of an under 23 team for usa which uh, then provides that next step for the under 19s so we are uh, we are actively working on on these pathway systems uh, combined with uh, a high performance program led by usa cricket which would be uh, uh, applicable to players uh, all across the country which would be part of a high performance program at at least the uh, the elite uh, players okay. uh, would be invited into these high performance programs and and they will be working with um, uh, USA cricket appointed coaches all through the year so there is a lot of uh, uh, exciting news exciting programs on the way for us cricket and uh, and this is especially going to provide more opportunities to the youth of this country which in turn will then provide uh, the influx of talent uh, to the national teams to the minor league teams and then when the major leagues come along you know the the investors in the major leagues will also uh, have be more comfortable because they can now see that the country the itself is able to provide uh, organic uh, organic growth and yeah. opportunities for pl- uh, talented players to to move up to that level yeah. and it also sounds like that previously a usa team for a tour would just get together uh, a few days or weeks before the tour and just go and play now from a very young level usa cricket are taking over the grooming and skill development and pretty much everything the whole landscape yeah. for the players right mm-hmm. now uh, tushil i think uh, a lot of viewers would be interested in this question uh, i think in yesteryears when you were uh, a young budding player at that time back in i think 2004 usa competed in the icc champions trophy yeah. and then we had a drought for quite a few years recently we got the odi status back i think all the viewers are interested to know when are usa competing against the likes of india australia new zealand pakistan the, the big dogs of international cricket when are we getting to that level i think that that is uh, that is a dream that we are all all living and uh, uh, that dream will be realized uh, in the in the coming years because the direction we are going um, as you can see even from uh, comments from uh the icc chairman recently where uh, he talked about some global events being held uh, in usa um i see all of that uh, you know everything is combined based on all the good progress that is being shown uh from usa cricket right now and uh, uh, i think given in the future when you have uh, national to- i mean uh, global tournaments uh, being held in usa um you know when you have these international teams that will come in and by then hopefully we'll have stadiums uh, that are ready to host uh, major league uh, games as well that that there is it's going to be a uh, uh, a logical step for usa teams to play against these right. these teams uh, even if it's in uh, practice matches or uh, or warm up games or something like that but uh, i'm pretty sure if that happens it'll be huge huge buzz in us cricket community um if we can telecast these games uh, you know now you have uh, um some of our usa boys bowling to the likes of virat kohli uh, that 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 is uh, going to be amazing for us cricket but that day is somewhere in the future i can 
literally visualize it and uh, i think it will become a reality uh, at some point and we've been knocking on the doors anyway some players have made it to the cpl very recently we had a usa bred player d- uh, groomed in the usa pl- uh, got drafted for the ipl so i think that day is not very far away do you agree with that yeah i think so um i mean ali khan made us all proud uh, in usa cricket and there are several more players that um, that made cpl teams so i think the quality is there and as usa cricketers get more exposure get more cricket and play against better oppositions i think uh, the team will only get better and better and uh, one day we should be able to see uh, usa competing against uh, you know the more uh, established test nations so there you go folks sushil has definitely got our hopes pretty high and uh, all of you listeners and viewers if you thought that usa is not a destination you would associate its name with cricket i think this is the time when you change that opinion we've got wonderful infrastructure and facilities coming we've got a pretty fledging youth cricket structure we've got some pro players who are now making it to the cpls and the ipls of this world and the overall cricket ecosystem is coming along pretty well we sincerely hope you like this segment and thank you sushil so much for your time and all your comments you're most welcome